find the area of the following. Now, if you look at this figure, what you are told is that there are basically, let's say, let's represent this as. So we see from here that AB is parallel to CD and AD is parallel to BC. Also, AB is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to AD is equal to 6 centimeter. Now in such a situation, what kind of a thing is this? This has to be a rhombus. Why? Because it is only in a rhombus that all four sides are equal and it's a parallelogram. Right? Now, we know what is the area of a rhombus. Area of a rhombus is equal to half into D1 into D2. So what are the diagonals that we have here? One is BD and the other one is AC. Okay, so half into AC into BD. But if we notice here, we don't know what is the length of AC, right? But what we have concluded here is that this figure is a rhombus. And if it is a rhombus, then the diagonals of the rhombus should basically do what? It should bisect the other diagonal. Which means that if this is 4 centimeter, this has to be 4 centimeter. Similarly, diagonal AC will bisect diagonal BD, meaning thereby that this portion should be equal to this portion. So if this is 8 centimeter, this is 8 centimeter. So life is easy now, half into AC. So AC is what? AC is equal to OA plus OC plus into B O B plus O D or half into 4 plus 4 into 8 plus 8 or half into 8 into 16. So 2 times 4, 4 times 16 gives us 64 centimeters square. So this is the area of this rhombus. So therefore it is extremely important that you should be very clear on what are the properties of a particular quadrilateral. And that is going to make you understand what a particular quadrilateral is. Once you understand it, you know the properties, the solutions will follow.